Welcome to how-to videos from Bugspray.com. Here you're looking at a bunch of dead moth flies. They're just one of about a half a dozen to a dozen small flies that tend to find their way into homes on a periodic basis. Moth flies are also referred to as drain flies because they are often uh, found breeding in drains. Moth flies are at times annoying in homes, apparently appearing mysteriously from sinks and bathtub drains. Moreover, they may breed in tremendous numbers in sewage filter plants and then be carried by the wind to nearby buildings where they penetrate through ordinary fly screening. I've placed a penny here next to them just so you can get an idea of the size. One of the easiest ways to identify them is they have very large wings compared to other flies of similar size. Very moth-like wings. Okay, here's a closer up look of the moth fly. Again, you can see the wings a little bit better. Very, uh, very broad and almost fuzzy looking, similar to a moth. The key to eliminating moth fly infestations in a building is finding and eliminating breeding sources. Broken pipes under slabs and shower pans, sump pumps, floor drains, sewers are potential breeding sites within buildings. Pay particular attention in, especially in restaurants, places where food debris and water builds up on the inside of the drains or even sometimes under equipment, places that don't necessarily get cleaned every time. And usually we use a, a couple of different products. We'll use Biomop. Uh, there's a product called Survivors that we carry that has an enzymatic bacteria based action that will actually clean off the areas that these pests breed. Growth regulators such as Gentrol are extremely important at helping control. Also adulticides such as Conquer or Esfenvalerate will help you in eliminating these problems. So hopefully this will give you some tips. Certainly read through our article and thank you for watching this how-to video from Bugspray.com.